Um, okay, so yeah, should be live again now. Danger. Like, so yeah, it turns out I didn't have that much to do when I had interest everything, and uh, I asked someone if they wanted to play some games, and they said no, so yeah. Um, and then I checked this and remembered that uh, we have the companion mission for Jing Liu to start still, so I'm going to be doing that today. Um, I already streamed a little bit this morning, just did a farming run, and uh, we actually need to go ahead and do another one um, before we start Jing Liu's companion quest. Um, hmm, what to pay? Because none of these really matter that much. Um, which path do I take the least advantage of? Looks like Elation. I just want to see if I can clear simulated universe with a path that I literally have nothing like to benefit from. The only thing that Elation benefits you with is if you get the ability to uh, gain damaging ults, but I only have like follow-up attack damage on your ults, but I only have Jingli Yu for that as well. Um, okay, so we did start up with an Elation Blessing. We do want to unlock the path resonance still, so... The moon shines on the I imagine that would be pretty good. Yeah, we're just going for the first boss, so it doesn't really matter which Blessings we get. I did, uh... Create a new relic a second ago. They live All up. will be revealed. Um, in, lunar in the strong box, I made a new Brutalene Arena Sphere, and it was defense percent, so unfortunately it is a little bit unusable. Oh, I meant to refresh. I always think that it's the wrong thing to refresh. Um Here, increased damage from dots, so I do need that ice dot increased damage. <sighs> oh yeah, there's something about completing a battle in the simulated universe using only basic attacks. You have to use 40 basic attacks per battle. We can try that over here. This ends here. As you have basic attack actually does deal pretty good damage. But... Is that all? Stand down. Let me tell your We'll try it on the boss. We'll do basic attack only for the boss you're for the achievement. For you don't look so Hope you're I do have Jing Liu's basic attack fully maxed out. I have her Stand entire down. skill tree maxed out, so I will save it for later. And I really like the unenhanced skill animation. It's really satisfying to watch. Reminds me of, uh, I was talking about it before, but it reminds me of uh, the Mihawk in the One Piece live action slicing the boat in half. 30% HP loss? Oh, this is the wrong one. Okay, we got worse ones. Um, you know what? They got do drop. Show your courage. It's weird seeing the and new the uh, blessings, or not blessings, but new occurrences. The moon shines on the truth. Simulated universe. Soon to be departed. Okay, so our goal is to land 40 basic attacks and live. Um, I don't know how possible the goal is, but we can go ahead and heal. The will forged in ice. So that was one. <laughs> Time to your for your own skin. I'm doing this, this unenhanced because this team should be strong enough this ends here. to defeat it. Hey, that's four. Need a 
Hope you're prepared. Another four. Is that Gotta obvious? do it eight more times. <laughs> this is actually advancing Branya's action forward, but now she's a bit this faster than Jing Liu. In the action queue, at least. Oh, she's gonna get another basic attack. Is that all? In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> I just have to hope this enemy doesn't try to all these basic attacks. But yeah, it's looking like that's pretty unlikely to happen. Stand just. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll get it to about three quarters of its HP down with just basic attacks, and then I will this ends here. just finish it off, because I think that'll be 40, because I've already lost count. I'm a little bit over a third of the way at the moment. Stand Three down. sevens. Try harder. Tedious. I'm gonna go heal with Philo. For your own skin. This ends. Rania is definitely pretty strong in the basic attack meta. This battle. The Jing Liu did just do 10k. He's at max stacks of uh, the light cone, though. But on the full light cone. You'll pay for this. Oh, she is fast enough to... Yeah, that's why you play faster characters, so that way you can get two turns while the enemy's charging their shot, and then you'll cleanse the dot automatically. You don't even need to cleanse if your character is fast enough. You can just naturally get rid of it, because you've already taken two actions. Um, I'll just basic attack and then ult for the heal. For your own You'll skin. Get... Tedious. <laughs> Try harder. This battle. <laughs> okay, they caught me at the bad side. This okay. I mean, the enemy is almost dead. I might as well spend it with the basics. There we go. Yeah, the 400 blows achievement. Um, I mean, the run's not being continued from this point on. Okay, just give me an ice damage. Quantum damage boost? I don't even have Sila, but this is still garbage. Uh, this one's good for Yukong. Actually, no, it's not. I kind of thought about it, but it doesn't even have an effect for its substat, so. Not taking that. We'll just end and finalize here. I always forget how fun that simulated universe is compared to Swarm Disaster 5. And we're at 369 achievements. I've been doing a little bit of achievement hunting stuff. Um, I did actually get the Platinum Trophy yesterday for Star Rail, so I'm only one achievement short um, of finishing it. That's not the reason why I wanted to do Jing Liu's story. 
or like why I remembered it, it was because I saw this on the map when I was going to the simulated universe. Hello, Clara. And Clara and Jingliu just keep showing up together on my account. Upend the ancient sea and return to old ground. It's a letter for Don Hung, but who is it from? I should ask the conductor. Letter of unknown origin. Hello, Pom Pom. Blazer, do you need help with something? Pom Pom's been cleaning up this whole time and didn't see any letters. What? Ah, don't scare Pom Pom like that. <sighs> Why are there always strange things sneaking onto our train? Uh, Pom Pom is going to upgrade the security level around here. What does the letter say? Never really get to interact with pom poms. So kind of nice. Looks like an invitation. Hmm. Who could have sent it? Does Don Hong have any friends on the Law Fu? If pom pom remembers correctly, he said he was exiled from there, right? Unlikely. If the general sent the letter, he would have signed it. Why don't you show Don Hong the letter? You know where to find him. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't show this Easter egg on stream, but yeah, Bubbles is on the train now because I kept Bubbles instead of giving them to Asta. They're kind of like Peppy, where you can just give them a few options of dialogue and it's just what is all text. It doesn't actually do much. Do you need something? Huh. There's no signature. And it doesn't mention a time or place. <laughs> Looks like whoever sent this expects me to remember. Unfortunately, I'm going to disappoint them. The handwriting does seem like that of a swordmaster, but Blade would have gotten straight to the point. It's an invitation, all right, but this is too mysterious to be him. Mm, let me hold on to the letter. Anything related to Don Feng's past should be handled with care. Just as I thought, there was more than met the eye. <sighs> Letting her leave first was a wise choice. I can't put her in danger again because of this. But if he didn't send the letter, then who did? Well, Blade had said that before. Hmm. Maybe I should make a trip to the seat of divine foresight. I need to ask Jin Yuan about the Stellaron hunters. You must include Jingliu. Okay, what's this Jingliu's build? Under the blue sky? It is maxed out. Okay, they have Rudo and Arena. That's not really fair. They have way less crit damage than I do, though. And way less attack. And speed. You have a lot of effect hit rate, though. Which is entirely useless on her. Okay, it's fine. I'll just bring my own Jingliu. Wait, 
Wait, who are we fighting up against? Monkey? Let's bring March. I don't really want to build Pale up for this, so I'm not going to. Well, I would like to bring her. Actually, I won't bring March. We'll just bring Japart, so that way I can try out Hyper Carry. Bring Leo. After oh, all this time away from Alafu, the seat of divine foresight has only become more hostile. Oh, yeah, change there too. It's quite reassuring. Relax, you needn't be so cautious, young man. I'm just reminiscing about the old days. However, I never thought Jing Yuan would send you to accompany me. <laughs> it would seem our fates are intertwined. Huh? Ah, I've got my work cut out for me today. It isn't Don Hung. Greetings. I need to speak to the general about something. <laughs> Looking for compensation for the injuries I gave you? I accept full responsibility. They can deduct my next hundred years' salary if they like. <laughs> that won't be necessary. The Cloud Knights were doing their duty. I should be apologizing for any damage I caused myself. You came at a bad time. The general is busy with urgent work. You probably won't be able to meet with him today. But he did leave a message. Don Hung, do you recognize the person on the steps? I can't say that I know her, but she does look a little familiar. Is she a guest of the general's? You don't remember her? I see. I suppose the memories of your previous life really were wiped clean after the rebirth. That is Jing Liu, the previous sword champion of the Xianzhou La Fu. She was the closest friend of Imbibitor Lun A, your previous incarnation. She was also the general's master. According to records of wars past, her blade has slain countless denizens of abundance. Not even the Feather Guards of the Wing Weaver, the Father Wolf of the Borazin, or the gigantic Mecha Beast could withstand a single strike from her. She's a renowned legend. However, those are ancient stories. It's a shame that even a hero like her wasn't able to break free of Mara. It is said that in the end, Jing Liu lost her sanity and slaughtered anyone in sight. She was deemed a criminal and fled to outer worlds. With her powers, you'd think there would be no one capable of bringing her in. <sighs> For some reason, she arrived on the Lafu with a suspect disguised as a traveling merchant and said she wanted to turn herself in. Her surrender came with one condition, that she be allowed a day of freedom before the trial. She wanted to travel to Scale Gorge Waterscape and meet with her old friends one last time. I can't believe Jing Yuan actually agreed. Before he left, he ordered us to accompany Jing Liu during her last day on the La Fu. We're hosting an honored guest. We're escorting a criminal. Imbibitor Lunae. 
You're here. Since you traveled all this way, why don't you come and talk with me? <laughs> or should I call you by your name in this lifetime, Don Hung? Master Dun Hung, she's asking for you specifically. Be careful. Don't underestimate her. She's a little strong. When I left the Sienjo, I heard they took away your scales and horns, forced you into a hatching rebirth, and detained you in the Shackling prison. I thought Imbibitor Lune had been wiped from this world. But then I returned to the Lafu and watched as you parted the sea. <laughs> After all these years, it was a magnificent sight to behold. Do we... know each other? The answer to that is both yes and no. However, your cold and indifferent tone is identical to the person I knew back then. If my guess is correct, the preceptors were unwilling to allow the Icor line to end and hoped for the Imbibitor Lunae's resurrection. That is why they tampered with the Molten Rebirth and turned you into what you are now. <laughs> you're not here to reminisce on old times. Tell me why you're here. You didn't hear? That Vidyatara girl explained it clear as day. I returned to the Law Fu so I could surrender myself to the Alliance and atone for my sins. I did, however, have one request before the trial. I asked to be given a single day to go and see old friends and to fulfill promises I made long ago. Jing Yuan has always been an understanding person. He heard that you would be coming and agreed to my request. So, you're the one that mailed the letter to the Express. <laughs> That's right. The sea's depths conceal oh, no stone, be doing anything. and dragon's breaths reveal the moon. The scenery of Scale Gorge waterscape is truly as magnificent as the poems describe. But as a suspect, shouldn't I be bound and interrogated in the shackling prison? Is it really appropriate to bring me to a place like this, General? Holding you in the shackling prison would be more trouble than it's worth. For security purposes, we will be performing your trial here. <laughs> For security purposes? I suppose it's not my security you're talking about. The Stellaron's descent, the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection, the Destruction Emanator's impersonation of the Anacassador. According to the Skyfaring Commission's investigations, you arrived on the Law Fu with a group of merchants, but didn't make a single trade during your stay. Your departure coincided with the day the calamities took place. You took advantage of the chaos to sneak into the Shackling prison, but seemingly took no course of action. Now you claim that you are responsible for the Stellaron Crisis and wish to surrender yourself. Your behavior truly is puzzling. I can't seem to piece together your motive. I was asked to deliver a token in my capacity as a traveling merchant. 
I knew nothing of its significance. I admit I did have my own agenda for entering the shackling prison, but in the end, I found that the law food did not possess what I was looking for. It is through fear of punishment that I am choosing to surrender. The galaxy is a vast place, but I am merely a wanderer. It would be silly of me to think that I could outrun the Alliance. Merely a wanderer? <laughs> You're too modest, Lacha. Do I need to remind you of your actions at the Eternity Fortress and the Shroud Veil Star Zone? Or must I utter that tongue twister of a name? I. <laughs> well, they don't call you the Divine Foresight for nothing, General. <laughs> you flatter me. Fortunately, I did my research, or this conversation would have been quite dry. Seeing that you sense something is amiss, are you looking to defend me and clear my name of suspicion? <sighs> that is beyond my control. Attempting to undermine the Alliance is a grave crime. According to protocol, you are to be held on the Xianzhou Shu Ling for a joint trial before the Ten Lords Commission and the Seven Arbiter Generals. We're However, learning a little bit about. At present, you have the opportunity okay. to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Scale Gorge Waterscape. It will be the last view of the Law Fu you ever lay eyes on. She told me that the High Cloud Quintet once gathered and feasted here hundreds of years ago. The unparalleled sword techniques of your master, the mesmerizing cloud hymn magic of Imbibitor Lune Dan Feng, the artful piloting skills of Bai Hung, the divine weapons crafted by the Ju Ming artisan Ying Sing, and the unmatched stratagem of the general. The five of you vanquished evil from the world, creating legendary tales in your wake. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever, and the High Cloud Quintet disbanded as each of you went your separate ways. You removed me from the shackling prison and decided to interrogate me here, but not for security purposes. You wish to discuss things that shouldn't be overheard. You wish to discuss the one person you've avoided mentioning up to now. Your master, Jing Liu. Yeah, you kind of didn't like whenever Jing Liu was mentioned. Whatever voice over things. We can head out now. Mm. I would like to visit a few places from my memories, enjoy a glass of wine, and reminisce about the good times. <laughs> Have you mistaken yourself for a tourist? <laughs> I would make a wonderful tourist. Lower your guard, young man. I have already surrendered myself to the Alliance, and I will keep my word. Besides, your general has already agreed to my request. In Bibiter Lune, you must accompany me. I won't take no for an answer. Regardless of whether you're still interested in your previous life, Accepting my letter means that you've accepted my invitation. <laughs> Lead the way. Where should we start? Should we go to Stargazer Navalia first? Or to the Artisanship Commission? So many memories are swirling inside my head. I can't get a grasp on any of them. When the people of the Sienjo live to be more than a thousand years old, 
Each day is like carrying the weight of a mountain through an interminable maze. Uh, how hard is it to choose a destination? We're going to Stargazer Navalia. Problem solved. <laughs> the young are the antidote. Stargazer Navalia, it is. It's nice to see all the Lofu areas in the HG. Because the Lofu is really laggy, so I can never really play uh, that high quality while it, streaming. Have headed to the Jade Gate. Why did we come all the way here? <laughs> Young man, have you ever heard of Bai Hung, the Foxian pilot? Bai Hung? Huh, I think I've seen that name somewhere before. If memories are returning to you, share them. I think she was one of Imbiber de Lunay's comrades. She was a comrade and friend to both Imbiber de Lunay and all of us. Well, that's all in the past now. The reason we came to Stargazer Navalia is because I wanted to pay tribute to her here. Huh? You mean the Foxy and Soul Soothing Ceremony? Yes. The sending off of a star skiff. It represents the voyage of the deceased into the stars. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I never had the chance to bid farewell to her. It is something I have regretted to this day. As for procuring a star skiff, I know they can be manufactured here, but I know nothing of the process. I see. Follow me. Uh, I don't know anything about manufacturing star skiffs either. Of course, young Jane. Getting these machines to work shouldn't be too hard. Careful. There's still Stellaron spirits lurking around. <laughs> no need to worry about the two of us. Stand down. Ha! Light of moonlight. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Ready for death. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. <laughs> Who invited you? Huh? Do not concern yourself with the outcome. I don't think they ever put chest in these character story ones. Careful. There's still Stellaron spirits lurking around. <laughs> no need to worry about the two of us. The moon shines on the truth. Scared yet? <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Blade of moonlight. This ends here. Try harder. <laughs> Nowhere to run. <laughs> Ooh. 
Do not concern yourself with the outcome. Just seeing where we're all going to be going. Don't see any enemies or anything up ahead. We've arrived. All ship production in Stargazer Navalia starts here. Just enter the command into the device. The vessel used to cultivate Starskiff seeds will be activated, and a ship will appear in the skyport soon after. Uh, I remember now. I've seen Bai Hung's name in books before. You like to read? I couldn't tell. Hey! I don't read much, but the general forced me to finish a bunch of ancient volumes during my training. I remember one called Views of the Universe from a Star Skiff. The author's name was Bai Hung. That's right. Bai Hung was the one who wrote that travelogue. It was actually really interesting. 90% of it was about Star Skiff crashes on different worlds and dangerous situations. It also had records of local species and ecosystems. I remember thinking, how could an ace pilot crash land her star skiff so many times? Then I realized that every time, she made the best of the situation and got back alive. Ah, her luck really was out of this world. Indeed, her luck always astonished us. Whenever she piloted a mission, you could almost guarantee a narrow escape from the jaws of some abundance behemoth, or a miraculous return from behind enemy lines. Very few star skiffs she piloted were able to return to port in one piece. The folks at the Skyfaring Commission secretly referred to her as the Star Skiff Killer. She also possessed an uncanny ability to predict future events. Inauspicious ones, at least. Every ill omen that came out of her mouth would sure enough come true. Very few Cloud Knights had the courage to accompany her on missions. However, when it came to surviving, her fortunes were incredible. Even in the worst situations imaginable, she was always able to turn the tide. Luck is a type of strength, after all. I hope that this ship, built for the Star Skiff Killer, will also be able to return to the stars. Ha! <laughs> That'll do it! The Star Skiff assembly line has been activated! The Star Skiff will take shape and enter the Skyport. Let's go wait for it there. It won't be long. Thank you, young man. And I saw something moving that way. See, the Star Skiff is complete. After being away from the Lafu for so long. I can finally say farewell to you. So, what happened to Bai Hung in the end? In the end, I do not think the details are necessary. We are here today to commemorate her. In Bibiter Lumne, do you still remember the battle against Shu Hu? The Abundance Emanator, Shu Hu, rallied a great army and attacked the Alliance. I read about it in the Shackling Prison. You seem to be interested in learning about your past life. Still, all of that was erased. After Shu Hu attacked the borders, he disappeared without a trace. There are no records of his remains, either. Let me refresh your memory. During that battle, Bai Hung, 
Being the headstrong girl that she was, managed to exhaust the luck that was bestowed upon her by the Rainbow Arbiter. She charged ahead and shattered the enemy's defenses, allowing the Sienjo soldiers to break through Shuhu's sanguinary abyss and awaken you from your dragon's delirium. She was not able to walk out of that fight. We all shoulder a debt that we will never be able to repay. For the Cloud Knights, giving up one's life on the battlefield is an honor. But that wasn't something you believed in, in Bibiter Lune. You couldn't accept that Bai Hung was gone. Instead of leaving her to eternal rest, you decided to... <sighs> you made a mistake that can never be undone. Oh. <sighs> there is no need to respond, Inbibiter Lune. Your answer is no longer important. And now, I will send off this star skiff. By Hung, I've brought your flagon. This was a gift handmade by him. Though he never got the chance to give it to you in person. I'm sorry it took so long for me to find it. Only by bringing it to you will my nightmares be calmed. I will fulfill what you asked of me. I will keep my word. Even if it requires me to cut down the stars in the sky. Let's go. The Artisanship Commission is next. I cut back to Lodra. Not yet. Since the Arbor's resurrection, the land has been crawling with abominations. <laughs> Even the Artisanship Commission's prized creation furnace is hanging on by a thread. You can smell it? The crisis happened too suddenly. All the craftsmen and apprentices fled. Only a single master craftsman was left to hold the line until reinforcements arrived. That's how the creation furnace was saved. Interesting. Stubborn beyond valuing his own life. <laughs> that reminds me of an extremely arrogant acquaintance. If he were to see the chaos of the Artisanship Commission today, he would burst into laughter at the Sienjo's incompetence. What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong with saving your own life and waiting for the Cloud Knights to arrive? And yet where were the Cloud Knights when danger was at the door? From what I heard, it was a group of Outworlders that came to the rescue. Not entirely the Outworlders. The Delves are big places. Besides, some of the troops were deployed to the Yao Qing's campaign. The Cloud Knights were spread thin. It was impossible to guard everywhere at once. <laughs> Young man, why don't we continue our previous contest? Show me whether the sword techniques you are so proud of have improved. You just want me to do all the work. You think I'm gonna grant endless requests for a criminal? You go on ahead this time. We'll meet up at the Creation Furnace.
Why did you send him away? It is of no importance. But you and I haven't had a decent contest you. in ages. I don't plan on fighting. I'm not asking you to point your spear at me. Could it be that the abominations here aren't enough to motivate you? Found your weakness! Even after your rebirth, your moves and techniques haven't changed one bit. When I move, it's like... Like you never forgot. Let's we'll see what an all-out attack looks like. Come on already. What took you so long this time? Don't get anxious and buy bitter Lune. We have all the time in the world. I'm with you. The moon shines on the truth. <laughs> this sphere still recognizes you as its master. In Bibiter Lune, do you know who crafted it for you? It's been with me ever since my ex exile. I don't remember when I started wielding it. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. All will be revealed in Lunar Flame. Yeah. Is that all? Mortality means forever. <laughs> Ready for death? <laughs> There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. This ends here. <laughs> no manners. Who will it be? Stand down. You can continue to convince yourself that you are merely the reincarnation of Don Fung and have nothing to do with his sins. And you can keep insisting that you have forgotten everything. But you cannot run from combat, Don Hung. Your spearmanship is identical to Inbibitor Lunae's. Combat is like smelting, purging the impurities with burning flames and exposing a person's true nature. Those are the words of the one who made Cloud Piercer for you. <laughs> Do you remember? Out of all of us, you were the closest to him. It was strange, really, to see someone so arrogant get along with someone so proud. Hmm. This spear. <sighs> Why didn't I hear you talking? This spear is sharp enough to pierce dragon scales. Be careful, High Elder, lest you hurt yourself with it. <laughs> you still remember his name? Glad they added the voice log now. He swore to take revenge on the abominations. That's what drove him to travel across the stars to the Sienjo to receive training. When I first met him, he wasn't even as tall as my sword. But he was boasting about mastering all the crafts of the Artisanship Commission by the time he was a hundred years old. <laughs> the little brat was no less arrogant than the High Elder. 
At first, I wasn't too fond of his defiant nature. But when we met again, he was able to craft weapons that astonished the master craftsman. He even snatched the Artisanship Commission title of Furnace Master. Unfortunately, the Alliance would never allow a short-life species to run the Artisanship Commission. He was only able to prove his worth alongside us outcasts in the end. You didn't go easy just so I would get here first, did you? Of course not. Your technique must have improved so much that I simply couldn't keep up with you. Hmm. So, uh, are we here to commemorate your short life species friend? Eavesdropping is a bad habit. Besides, when did I ever say he was no longer in this world? Hmm. <laughs> Even the cryocapsules wouldn't be able to extend the life expectancy of a short life species for long. If he is still alive, he must be ancient. He transformed... into a long life species? Correct. Such are the twists of destiny. Some people are born with unparalleled foresight and exceptional intelligence, but make the most ill-advised choices at Destiny's crossroads. As smart as he was, he made the foolish attempt to use the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to aid in Bibiter Lune in resurrecting his deceased companion. His stupidity turned him into a monster, cursed with immortality. His soul was shattered and became the evil that he hated most. The irony. Ugh, for an old friend, you don't seem to have that much pity. I gave him a second chance. Does that not count? What did you do to him? He should have been eternally jailed in the shackling prison for his crimes. But I gave him a different kind of freedom. I took the shell that once held his soul and passed my sword techniques on to him. I let him die a hundred deaths to remind him of the karma of his previous life. Afterward, I heard he was reborn, and even gave himself a name. <laughs> We've idled too long. Let's head to the Alchemy Commission. back to the Lotra. As a follower of the Rainbow Arbiter, you have witnessed the catastrophe brought upon by the plague's author, General. Living beings turning into undying monsters, eventually used as sacrifices to the abundance. What do you think should be done to put an end to it, General? The Alliance follows the Rainbow Arbiter's edict to continue ridding the world of evil, so that one day Yaoshir might be vanquished and the cycle of life and death restored. Under the auspices of the Rainbow Arbiter, the faithful Cloud Knights continue the hunt. Their devotion and sacrifices are indeed commendable, but their devotedness has made them close-minded. Take me, for example. My powers originate from the Abundance, yet my goals are aligned with the Alliance. The Hunt is not the only faction in the universe that wants Yaosha dead. 
It is natural for short life species to yearn for immortality. That is expected of any intelligent life form. To want to eliminate these thoughts would be equivalent to killing an eon. Such a goal is so impossible as to be laughable, to be honest. So, in order to sever Yaosher's curse, one must look to the source for a different solution. Your master happened upon a revelation and returned from the Mara. She has traveled many worlds and discovered a solution. I'm listening. I apologize, General. I'm afraid the next move will have to be made on the Shu Ling. <laughs> As I expected. Your surrender is just the next step in your scheme. You wish to avail yourself of the Ten Lord's decree to enter Shu Ling and stand before the Six Generals, even the Marshal. That is your true agenda. And the purpose of the contents of your coffin. General, you said it yourself. This is beyond your control. It is the law of the Alliance. We cannot deviate from it. <laughs> Splendid, well done. This was a spectacular move. You've changed, Jing Yuan. The man I knew would never have admitted he was bested. Oh, Baldy. restored to the alchemy commission why are we here i heard the healer lady is capable of curing all diseases i'm here for the same reason anyone would be for a checkup and consultation patience young man we're not far from scale gorge waterscape the mission the general tasked you with is about to come to an end Oh, Bailu. There's still a monkey to fight at some point. <gasps> Dun Hung, what a surprise! Uh, are you not feeling well? Please come this way. Miss um, Bailu, she's here for a consultation. Oh, I see. Are you here for your eyes, or is it something else? My eyes are fine. I cover them to avoid seeing that which reminds me of the past and riles my inner demons. My thoughts have been disordered lately, and I experience occasional night terrors. Do you have a way to soothe my mind, Dragon Lady? Hmm, those symptoms don't sound like my area of expertise. Bah, who cares? The healers of the Alchemy Commission don't get to pick and choose their patients. Give me your hand. We'll start by checking your pulse. You'll need to take some translucent worms so I can take a closer look. Oh, you, you, your hand! It's freezing! Uh, please wait. Dan Hung, can I speak to you for a minute? Uh, your friend here has a very peculiar condition. Her pulse is extremely faint. Normally, this would mean that she... She... won't live much longer. Uh, b -b 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 let the healer make the professional diagnosis. Uh, your friend's situation is unique. She looks healthy, but her hands are cold as ice. 
It feels like there's a dark current running and pulsing between her core essay and her veins. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. With more research, I might be able to make a new entry in the medical records. Can you and your friend come back for follow-up visits? We'll be in the Shackling prison. Today's her last day on the Law Fu. Ah, what a shame. If she could stay for a few days, I might be able to figure out how to cure her. Ah, I'll do my best. No matter what I administer, she's gonna need to drink a ton of warm water from this point on. Come with me. I'll prescribe her some soul-returning vitality infusion. It won't cure her, but I'll... Wait! Where did my big medicine box go? I'm sorry. Ever since the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were expelled, things have been a mess around here. Tanhung, you mind coming with me to retrieve my medicine? I could use your skills. Are you in trouble, Dragon Lady? I'll come along as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> no trouble at all. <laughs> It's no bother. A little walk will do me good. Ah. Mmm. I can smell the herbs. It's around here somewhere. Hey! Give me back my medicine box! Ah, that thing runs so fast! Don't let it get away! Oh, there's a monkey. Ah! There's an even bigger monster protecting this one! Ah! When did so many creatures start visiting the Alchemy Commission? <laughs> Careful. Allow me to eliminate these obstacles, Dragon Lady. Stand back. The chill of my sword freezes everything in its path. Name of Landa will forged in ice. Never falters. Soon to be departed. Trust me. <laughs> Everything is worth. Oh, stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Lend me your strength. <laughs> Blade of Moon. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. A little bit of damage. <laughs> oh, let's see. This battle is un- Lend me your strength. <laughs> this ends here. And try to slap another Jingli ult. All right, let me make sure nothing's missing. Excellent. The calming Valerian and cheese strengthening infusions are here. Let's head back. Never make a patient wait too long. Um, apologies again for the delay. This prescription won't cure you, but it will nourish your body and calm your mind. Very well. The fate of a long life species is inevitable, even with the best doctors. You're Mara struck? I don't see the symptoms in you at all. What with the incident on the Law Fu, I've treated a number of Mara stricken patients recently. They all presented with signs of incoherence, delirium, or frightening physical mutations. You don't seem to have any of that. 
I made a deal that allowed me to retain what life I had left in me. I may be sane, but one thing is certain. My mind is already at its limit. And yet, I still have many unfulfilled wishes and plenty of unfinished business. I see. So you've learned to live with your illness. I can't help much with issues of the spirit, but the medical records do mention that calming the mind is a way to heal the body. If you're able to forget about the past, there might be a chance for your symptoms to regress. Really? How unfortunate. My hatred overshadows my other emotions. I chose to hold on to it, to embrace it, and to use it to maintain my existence. All I have left are the sword in my hand and my hatred of the past. If I am without either of them, I would fall into an empty void. Thank you for your advice, Dragon Lady. Meeting you has provided more healing than any kind of medicine or remedy. By the way, among those you've treated in recent days, did you notice a person in bandages? Bandages? That's a vague description, you know. I'm not sure. We get injured patients from all over the Xianzhou for treatment. And the number of injuries we see has skyrocketed since the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. The person I'm inquiring about is tall, with a serious expression. He also carries a crude sword with him at all times. Have you seen someone like that, Dragon Lady? Hmm... Oh, yes! Someone came by today that matches that description! He must have suffered some kind of sword wound. He had a strong scent of blood. Though, from the way he behaved, it must have been fairly minor. He didn't even take the medicine I prescribed. Hmm. He's probably looking for a different kind of medicine. Well then, it would seem that everything is in place. Let's go meet our old friend. Take this man away. This does not involve him. Yan Ching. And so, everyone is present. I never thought the High Cloud Quintet would be able to gather again in the same place after hundreds of years. If I remember correctly, the five of us made a promise here seven centuries ago. We promised that no matter what happened, we would gather here together and share a drink. How sad that Scale Gorge Waterscape remains empty while the world continues to turn. Some of us have been reborn, while others were denied death. Some have become criminals, while others can no longer fulfill their promises. And in the end, our friendship is no more. Soon, I will be shackled and tried. This will be the last you see of me. This is why I sent out the invitations before departing, hoping that everyone would be gathered here for my final farewell. Of five people, three must pay a price. 
Inbibitor Lune, the chief culprit, chose to use the transmutation Arcanum as a means of resurrection, begetting terrible transformation and great calamity in the process. He dishonored the name of the fallen. Ying Sing, the accomplice, arrogant and oblivious, used the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to assist Inbibitor Lune in his evil. He fell, becoming an immortal abomination. As for Jing Liu, the sinner, she succumbed to Mara, slaughtered her people, and abandoned her oath. Now it is time we pay for what we have done. Don Hung, you can never escape the shadow of Invibitor Lune. He is your origin, and his sins will accompany you in your path forward until you meet your eventual doom. Blade, what a fitting name. In the remainder of your infinite life, you will experience only murder and your own death, all the while pleading for a place to rest. This is the only way you are able to relinquish Ying Sing's regrets. And I will face the punishment of the Alliance and suffer an eternal punishment before paying an even worse price. That is the only way to keep the memory of the pain of the past from fading away. High Cloud Quintet, it is time to say goodbye. Where's... Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be dumb. To be fair. A wineless gathering, accompanied by only sadness and bitterness. <sighs> what a depressing reunion. Yeah, one doesn't seem that sad. Yuen, is it not time you sent me to the Shuling? The laws of the Alliance cannot be subject to change. Unfortunately, your next stop will be the Yuchu. I reported everything to the Marshal, and the Seer strategist just so happened to take an interest in the case. They set up a Decalite reflection barrier in hopes of meeting the two of you beforehand. Jing Yuan, you haven't changed at all. Always trying to destroy the plans of others. But in the end, whether it be you, me, the Cloud Knights, or the Generals of the Rainbow Arbiter, we are all just pawns in a game of the gods. I am sick and tired of treading on a predetermined path. No matter, I will deviate if you insist, but this does not change how things will end. Ultimately, I will stand on the side of victory. <sighs> then I shall see this gamble through. Wait. Wait. Expression. Jing Liu, before you leave, you still owe me my due. I have tried. Besides inflicting more wounds on your body, there is nothing else I can do for you. The immortality that you possess is not something that can be dealt with so easily. I am sure Destiny's slave already told you that the swords of mortals are incapable of killing someone. I know that Destiny's with slave is Kafka. Of an emanator. He did. But oh, wait, you never still mind. It's Leo. Best case, I guess. Uh, 
I told you when I taught you the way of the sword. I am uninterested in drawing my blade against someone who does not long for life, who wants only to be slaughtered. You will only draw against an opponent. Jing Liu, allow me to repay you for your teachings. Savor the moment. I will deliver you a brief moment of death. We were here once, seven hundred years ago. <laughs> Laughing, sparring, and thinking about the future. <laughs> Their faces still linger before my eyes, like a bygone dream. I thought those joyful days would flow indefinitely before us, like a Sienjo lifetime. Yet, dreams... will eventually fade like clouds from the sky. A familiar feeling. Almost as if we've returned to my first sword lesson. You use the sword in Sing crafted and pierced, sliced, and impaled me time and time again. The sword play used to slay our enemies of old is still engraved on this despicable shell. All I can do is watch my flesh become severed, healed, and restored. It's as if they're saying, why? Why did you and Imbibitor Lune commit such an unforgivable sin? I know that you have no interest in my answer. Which is why I asked the question as you looked me straight in the eye. I've asked myself that same question infinite times, but was never able to find the answer. Why? Why is it that only the abominations can return time and time again? Why does someone like her have to be buried, burned to ash, and eventually forgotten? Why? In the end, you unleashed the final piercing blow and left both me and the sword in the withered grave. The miraculous thing is that in my brief moment of death, all the pain went away. Like when we drank to drown our sorrows. interact with them but Yan Ching and it looks like just Yan Ching looks at you. Wait, why is Yan Ching even here? Because he's walking back during this cutscene. In Bibiter Lune, what do you plan on doing next? Once this 
gathering ends, I will return to the Express to continue my journey. The Express won't be able to carry you forever. Your friends all have burdens of their own, just as we did back then. I did think about giving up on revenge and letting go of everything when I fled the Lawfu years ago. However, as time passed, it became more and more clear. It was like an old friend that accompanied me every passing day, always nagging in my ear. The memories of what I did when I was Mara struck are deeply rooted. Since I am unable to rid myself of them, I decided to face them head on in the end. Maybe when I witness the fall of the abundance, you and Ying Sing will find true release. Goodbye, Inbibitor Lune. I can knock everyone here now. She's gone. All this must have seemed like a silly performance to someone newly reborn. But I am unable to prevent my old friends from taking sides against one another. Who you are is a question that only you can find the answer to. Even if the Preceptor's interference denied you a true rebirth. Yes. It has been a long day for you, Don Hong. Don Hong, the General wants me to forget about everything I saw today. I understand. These disputes are far too complicated for me right now. Swordplay is a lot simpler. I have some close friends of my own in the Cloud Knights. Will we fall out the way you guys did? Goodbye for now, Dunhung. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under happier circumstances. She couldn't do it with her sword either. She still couldn't do it. We have no choice but to continue the pursuit. This is the price the two of us must pay. I will see it through. Elio's script still requires you to stay alive. For now. I don't mind prolonging my vengeance. It might be... more interesting that way. I accidentally touched the camera during that, so it started spinning around. I like how the Trailblazer has the text box still. But yeah, there's 370 achievements, and we actually have enough for another pool now. Surely this is the one. Oh. Can I win a 75-25? Nice. Okay. Let's go.
we actually managed to get an S1 of a character. This is the first time I've ever gotten a character's weapon for them. So, yeah, I'm pretty hyped. That was like 66 pity, so still fairly early in the soft pity. But, uh, yeah, not that early or anything. Um, I don't think I have the material to level it up at this exact millisecond, but I can get that. Don't worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 I need to get these. Go ahead and take me to the Calyx. I've got enough for a run, that should be enough. Tedious. My damage is going to be a little... It's actually not that much lower than it was. To be honest. Lend me your strength. Let me see how much it is whenever we start getting into this range. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. All will be revealed. It has such a cool light cone art that I pretty much had against this one. Flame. So. There we are. Um, that's not good. <laughs> Well, looks like we can't upgrade it for now. Thought I'd get some more pieces of that than I actually did. But yeah, my Stellar Jeed is uh, maxed out for now. So yeah, we're at 28.6% crit rate, 218.1% crit damage. Definitely a little bit of upgrades could go quite a long ways. But yeah, this light open is just so cool looking. And then uh, it gives 20% crit rate, and then one ally. Gets attacked or loses HP, that's not including the wearer. Then the wearer gains one stack of Eclipse, up to three stacks, so the whole party. This will increase the damage of the attack that caused it by 14%. When three stacks are reached, you also ignore 12% of the enemy's defense. So yeah, um, it's very strong. Um, let's compare the stats already. So yeah. Less HP, less attack, less defense, of course. But uh, the main reason that I got that as well is because I recently acquired Clara. And uh, she's been using this light cone. But I don't really want to level this light cone because then I don't have anyone to give this one. So I'm going to give this one to Clara. And it's actually good on Clara, too. Um, so. We did get a few of these. So I don't mind doing a few normal um, banner pools now. Because, um, we still want to get Eidolons for Qing Shui. Uh, obviously an Eidolon for Qing Liu would be pretty nice, but uh, Tin Yun, Qing Shui, Sampo, Eidolons are pretty good for me since I do want to make more use of Qing Shui. I need her Eidolon 4 for that. I'm at Eidolon 3. Uh, Tin Yun just needs more Eidolons, and then Sampo, yeah, just kind of more Eidolons. I think I'm at E4, E5 Sampo right now, so wouldn't mind having him out. And one more. Okay, nothing too interesting for now. Yeah, uh, the next I, our next light cone I'll be pulling for is probably Kafka's, maybe Silver Wolf, but we'll see. Um, the nice thing about getting Silver Wolf light cone is it would allow me to use before the tutorial mission starts on Pela, since uh, that's kind of Pela's best in slot light cone, I think, outside of maybe Silver Wolf's light cone, but I'd rather use that on Silver Wolf, to be honest. But yeah, I kind of need another Nihility light cone, which I did kind of get one, and I've forgotten that I have this light cone until this exact second, but yeah, I did get um, the We Will Meet Again light cone from Welds. Um, here, I don't mind using those. Yeah, I got this for Welt. Because it's pretty good on him. 
but yeah, that's as far as I can take it for now. Um, and then we can give Taylor a good night's sleep. Well, I don't think she makes that good of use of it, but I could be wrong. I mean, it's still a good light on either way, so... I'm sure she'll get something out of it. She is on the light cone, so that also helps. Yeah, let's see. The only... Okay, so I do have an unused light cone now in Fermata. Um, Fermata's not that good on Ayla, just because she doesn't get any use out of the extra effects. And it's also not better in slot than any of the other ones that I have, so... Yeah, like, I don't think it's better than Eyes of the Prey on Sampo, and... I don't think it's better than... I mean, it could be better than Resolution Science is Pearl of Sweat on Luca if I wanted to build Luca as a brick effect character, but um, I just want him to be dot-focused. I don't really care about the brick effects and stuff. And then uh, getting that extra ensnare bonus is pretty good, too. And it, it decreases uh, defensive enemies and stuff, so it's not too bad. Oh, the giant Wubbaboo is back here. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. Stand down. Um, not any ice weakness. <laughs> Concern yourself with the outcome. Yeah, I just wanted to test out this light cone. There's not much I could do for now, side of that. You don't look so good. <laughs> Lend me your strength. Yeah, this is the first time I've won a raid up in this game that's not guaranteed outside of uh, four stars, so that's pretty cool. Hope you're prepared. Turns out if the odds are in my favor instead of even, I can actually win. Because normally it's just a 50-50 on uh, if you can get a five star thing or not. But with light cones, it's 75-25. I want to go see the Wobbaboo. Does this control panel not work? <sighs> Doesn't seem like I can for now. Yeah, how long until this refreshes? Got five minutes for one, so it'll be like ten minutes ish. So, yeah, probably just going to end things here for now, I think, and then move on to uh, the free to play account. Since we did finish Jing Liu's story, I thought it was pretty cool to see all of the currently alive High Cloud members of, uh, or the High Cloud uh, Quintet members and everything. But yeah, um, the lore for the Lofu stuff is a little bit confusing. I don't have, like, all of it down. I mostly know stuff about the Aeons, and, like, I know that the names of the Aeons are changed in the Lofu. They were supposed to be- oh, you actually can edit this here. Uh, they were supposed to be changed on Balabog as well, but they did not do that. In the closed beta test, I think they were changed um, from the original names. But now the Wubbaboo is gone. Oh well. But, yeah. Um, apparently the names and stuff were changed, so I thought that was kind of interesting to uh, learn about as well. I mean, it makes sense since uh, 
Bellabog and the Lofu aren't really connected, and it's not like the whole universe is supposed to be connected. They're all going to have their own things, and like you can kind of see it in real life too with religions. Like people have their own gods and everything in their religions. Some people have multiple gods. Some people have one. Uh, some people believe in gods and are atheists and all that kind of stuff. But you can just see it all like play out in uh. So that's kind of a realistic approach. Like, uh, I know that in, like, Elder Scrolls lore, there's all of the gods. There's, like, the good ones and the bad ones. Like, the Nine Divine and, or Eight Divine, if you want to see it. Or, um, there's also, I forget the name of them off the top of my head now, because it's been forever since I played, uh, Sky, oh yeah, the Daedra gods and everything so yeah um i am trying to learn a bit more about star health lore um but not the greatest at it and i haven't really watched any videos or anything talking about them in a while um but yeah i think we're gonna move to the free to play account because i do want to try to reach trollways level 15 and uh i really don't have anything else to do here outside of just going to where this wobbaboo is now so Yeah, the text keeps getting cut off there. Like, I could read what it was saying, but it keeps getting cut off on the PS5 version. I don't know if that's, like, a thing with this version or if it's unintentional or what. Because I think you're supposed to be able to scroll it, but I don't think... You can't really scroll whenever you're in the free camera, because if you press down, then it's just going to point the camera up and everything. But yeah, we did get the light cone, so I am pretty um, hype about being able to try it out more. And everything. It's nice to have a five-star light cone that isn't just one of the opponents, one that I can tilt or use on my damage dealers and everything. But, uh, also, isn't a Herda light cone and stuff because the Herda ones are just kind of like an object and stuff. But uh, yeah, being able to have characters on the light cone is always cool. But yeah, I'll be pulling for another, not a light cone, but a, a weapon soonish whenever um, Folklore is added to Genshin. I'll be pulling for her and her weapon. Um, I've been saving up, I think I'm at around 60-ish petty on the character one, but I feel like I went a 50-50. Um, I won my first 50-50 in Genshin with the last uh, 10 pull I did, so yeah. Um, I've got to do that and then I've got, oh, I'm going to go for the weapon after that, which I don't know how the pity on the weapon works. I think it's like in this game where it's 75-25, but I could be wrong because I know that you can pull the same weapon, that's the weapon on the other side of the banner, two times in a row, and then you'll get a guarantee pull of the weapon of your choice is how it works. It's not the same as in Star Rail, I think, um, with that kind of a system, but yeah, I've got to go switch accounts and everything, so I am going to uh, in the stream now, so that way I don't leak anything, and uh, probably go get up and get a new water, because mm -hmm. my water bottle's almost empty. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'll definitely be live again on this account later, probably, with some more uh, Jing Liu stuff. Might do some simulated universe runs, because I've pretty much finished all the 1.4 content for now, as far as I'm aware. Like... The only thing I've got left to do is uh, really just get this light cone increased. Um, that would be the only extra 4.1 content that I haven't done. So, yeah, I've still got stuff in the Swarm Disaster Simulated Universe to do. Like, um, not a ton of stuff, though. Oh, yeah, I did want to do more Forgotten Halt stuff, but that can wait until tomorrow because I've still got a day. Um and tomorrow's the farming day in Genshin, too, so I'll be, probably be streaming my farming on there because I'm getting pretty close to triple count crowning Keqing. I want to crown all of her skills at once, so I'm trying to save up enough resources so that way I can do that. Uh, but today I've been farming for uh, relics for 
Yeah, yeah, because I need to get her a little bit stronger so that way she can heal people more reliably and stuff, especially since I'm using uh, Harbinger of Dawn Caging, which means that she needs to be at 90% HP or higher to, ke to keep its passive effect act or active. But yeah, I've still got to do all of these extra paths. Um, got to light up the trails of the past rider as well, which I am on the last part of. Um, I keep getting really close to finishing it, but then dying on the last boss, unfortunately. Like, normally I would not get stuck on the last boss, but now I've been repeatedly getting stuck on them. But yeah, I have pretty much every buff, and then um, as far as the index goes, I think I am just missing simulated universe run, or not simulated, swarm disaster ones, but apparently they're they might have added some simulated universe ones, because I had all the ones before 1.4, but yeah, I guess they added some that you can find outside. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, find these both in Swarm Disaster and Simulated Universe, if these ones are locked only in Simulated Universe Swarm Disaster, um, or how it all works, but yeah, I'm missing quite a few um, those. I've got all the curios down, though. Um... Before, it took me longer to find all the curios. Like in regular Storm Disaster, it took me longer to find all the curios than it did to find all of the occurrences. But now it's taking me a lot longer to find all the occurrences. But runs in Simulated Universe take kind of forever. And uh, yeah, I'd like to go ahead and start getting things ready to switch over to the free to play con. And I'm kind of trying to stall out to see if I can uh, convince myself to stay on. Like, I've got three more minutes until this refreshes, and then I might be able to get to. Of the green pieces and increase uh, Jing Liu's light cone to the next level. Um, because, yeah, now that I have uh, that, I can like finally say that she is. Uh, well, obviously, I'm missing like super impositions for that and idle ones for her, so I can't say that she's really maxed out at this point, and her relics could use some improvement. Stuff like, obviously, I need the two piece set to be Rudolent Arena, but yeah, I'm getting pretty close to the point where. She is uh, pretty much fully built. Um, I've just got to wait on that um, light there cone to be people. leveled up, and then I should have enough XP, I think. I have like 200 of the purple mats from the battle pass. Um, I've got to get the light cone increase and then just continuously farm for relics. And I'm probably only going to do that for like maybe to the end of next week, and then we'll see where I'm at. Because I do want to build other characters. Like, I just got uh, Jing Liu's light cone to put the other light cone on Clara. So I really want to build her because she's going to allow me to play March as well. And uh, I believe that the relic set that people have been having weird dreams about po possibly existing in the next patch. Um, I don't think any of them, from the stats that they keep saying from their dreams, have... Uh, too good of an effect for Clara to want to switch off of at least two piece physical. So we'll try to get two good physical pieces. I think I have two pretty solid ones, but I'm try to get those better. And then uh, one of the new relic sets is a or has a good two piece effect for her, um, that people have had having dreams about the follow up attack one. And then uh, Apparently, in the other side of the cavern, there's supposed to be some relics that buff dot damage, so I can't really farm for Sampo and Kafka anymore. I just gotta wait on... Like, I can get Sampo to level 80, and then get Sampo's Light Cone to level 80, and then probably the same thing with Luca. Like, I might get him to level 80 and stuff, just because I do use him with Kafka from time to time. Um, but yeah, outside of that, like, there's not really much more I can do to advance... Uh, those characters for now, just because I want to wait until the new light cones or the new relic sets and stuff. Um, I've obviously got characters like Welt that I can build. Um, I can try to rebuild Yanqing for whatever reason. I need to rebuild Natasha because she's currently kind of relicless. Like she has passable relics right now, but I'd like to get them a little bit better before I start investing into them. So, yeah, those are some of the things that I'm kind of planning on doing with the main account in between patches. So yeah, let me just go ahead and head over to the uh, domain that I need to go to, because I pretty much stalled for long enough that by the time I get there, it should almost be done. Yep. 
Okay, let's just use the support. Uh, is anyone online? Super. I could use my free to play. This person not want me using their support. Number one a Jing Liu fan. Interesting. Not capped out. Four star relics. One five star relic leveled up. And no light cone. Light cone capped out. Okay. Yeah, I think they might have switched the names of these two. Or something. They yeah, always like seeing people's builds and just like where they're going. I usually don't look at the level 40 ones and stuff because they're not that interesting. I mean, they're kind of interesting. You have two star pieces on um, characters and stuff, even though everybody got like free um, four star relics in the mail recently. Maybe they weren't good enough for them or something. I don't know. I guess we'll. I want to use my Jinglyu. Does anyone have a support that- I guess I can use this person's Branya. They have Moment of Victory, but they have like way less investment. Okay, why is their skill level 9, but their ultimate's level 6? They also don't have the free crit damage stat bonus. Don't understand this Branya build. And their Branya is like not even that tanky. Lend me your strength. Or as HP goes. Maybe their defense is a bit tankier, but. Go ahead and just defeat these guys. In lunar flame. My Jing Liu has higher free damage for my Branya, even before I got the White Cone, so. I don't think my Branya. Oh, we got another single green. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not waiting an hour for us. Uh, I don't think I can stall that long. But yeah, we are pretty close to, uh, we're getting a little bit closer to Trailblaze level 69 every day. We're at 56,000 XP now, which is kind of cool to see. Um, yeah, once I'm at Trailblaze level 70, there's not much more I can do with that because that's the maximum Trailblaze level. Oh, uh, I would have reached, like, I don't know when I reached Trailblaze level 65 compared to where I reached Trailblaze level 50, or AR level 55 and, uh, Genshin, but it feels like it's taking me a lot longer to get from Adventure Rank 55 to 56, because I'm still not even at 56. I'm like just barely halfway over 55. Um, but yeah, it's taking me like a lot longer to get to there than it has to get to like Trailblaze level 65 to 70 in this game. At least it's felt like it. And I've been making sure that my present stuff isn't full every day. But yeah, I've still got a lot of story quests to do in Genshin, I suppose, whereas in Star Wars, I pretty much finish everything at this point. Like, no more missions. I even did my daily mission today. So yeah, I've got like literally nothing left for now. So yeah, just a few more character upgrades over time. Uh, in like two days, we'll have the new Forgotten Hall to do, which will be pretty fun, I imagine. With the Jin It'll be centered around Jing Liu, if I had to guess, since... Uh, the current Forgotten Hole, it's still up during her banner, but it was for uh, Fushuan. Kind of sitting around having her. So, yeah. Um, gonna be ending things here for now and uh, grabbing that bottle of water and stuff. But yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs>